center consoles only is research these boats as much as we possibly can. So when you guys ask your questions, we can answer them intelligently. We're gonna take that a step further this week with Nautical Ventures and Axle Par, and we're taking this 37 cross cabin all the way through Memorial Day weekend. So we're gonna have an entire week to bounce around Miami, shoot offshore, hit the sandbars, hit the restaurants, and really put this thing through the paces. At the end of this week, we should have a good idea of what this thing is really about. So we want you guys to ask your questions, let us know what you'd like to see throughout the week, and we'll do our best to make that happen here with this 37 Axopar Par Crafts Cabin. We are here on the 37 Axopar Cross Cabin and we're going to take you on a full tour of this boat. We've had the pleasure of using this one in particular for an entire week so we really have had the chance to learn about most of the details and we have fallen in love. Now we were a bit skeptical with the enclosure of this pilot house but the AC is incredibly comfortable when it's closed up and you can open it to get best of both worlds. So you open up this convertible top, open the side doors, and you're basically out in the open as you would be in any other center console. We're gonna start off with the helm, very comfortable helm seats, and you can see this resembles a luxury car when you look at this helm more than a boat, actually. They flush mounted the Simran electronics, very clean. All you have are your Boca Tech switches, some cup holders, a bow thruster, and a unique trim tab system, which is incredibly comfortable. You have 360 degree visibility all the way around. So although you're enclosed in this pilot house, the visibility is phenomenal. You have your ignition switches right here, your VHF, and then a little storage space with a comfortable spot for your foot right here. So if you turn around, you'll see how much room you have in this pilot house area. And again, this is completely an air condition on, on this one in particular, it is an option. But you can open this dining room table, turn these seats around and actually turn this into an entire dining experience with your friends or family. So for hanging out at the sandbar, going over to the Bahamas, this area right here can be extremely comfortable whether you just jumped out of the water or you're on your way back and sitting in AC. There it is, the 37 Axle Bar Cross Cabin. From the exterior here at the sandbar, right outside of Crandon Park, Key Biscayne, Miami, Florida. I tell you what, you give this boat a shot, take the family out, it's not going to take much to sell you on it. These guys knew what they were doing by lending it to us for a week. So now I want one. There we go. Not a bad Friday. Come back in here. And we have the little ladies with the mother-in-law. Comfortable air conditioning. Kind of spoiling them with this. Not sure if it's a good idea or not. So we're moving up to the bow area. We're gonna start with the windlass. Incredibly comfortable feature. We used it yesterday at the sandbar. Could not be more comfortable. Unclip that, drop it down, touch of a button, and that's it. You got tons of storage up here. We have like five fenders, shore power cord, and all kinds of other things in there. Really nice access panel, lock that up, good to go. The upholstery they have on this is really nice. This kind of teal color. This is another storage up here. We have our life jackets. And then this turns into a nice lounger. You can sit back and relax right here and enjoy the ride from up in the bow. As you can see, when you look back, it looks like George back there is, is a bit lower than we are. And they do that on purpose. Actually, when you walk into that pilot house, you step down slightly and what they do is they lower the center of gravity on the boat for a couple of reasons. When you're out there in a bit of a swell, it doesn't tend to sway so much because it's not top heavy. Also, when you're running, you don't, these guys do a tremendous amount of R&D and they figured out how to make this boat balance perfectly. So when you jump a wave, it, on, a, on most boats you feel like you, you know, take the bow out and just go flying. This thing seems like it stays perfectly level and parallel with the ocean at all times. It's incredibly impressive, and hopefully with the running footage, we were able to capture some of that. Another unique feature for this cabin area, they have the gull wing doors. So open this right here. It looks kind of like a DeLorean. You can actually leave this open and not run the AC. If you're gonna hang out somewhere and get that breeze, it seems like it catches it 
cycles it through. You can open both sides and the other entrance. So there's entrance here on the port side and also through the pilot house. So we're gonna go ahead and work our way in through the starboard side gull wing door. And you can see you have an excellent space up here towards the bow, full size berth. You got a seat over here, another L shaped bench, your switch panel right above that and a sink right there in front of Jason. If you wanted to pop open this other gull wing door, you can do that from right here. Like I said, it brings in a lot of natural light, makes this incredibly comfortable in here, and that breeze is actually really nice to the point where you really don't need an AC. It's probably 90 plus here in Miami, and it feels quite cool. We're just idling our way out of the Miami River, but we wanted to show you this space in here, which was really nice and quite inviting. So I'm gonna work my way out through the pilot house entrance. You wanna close this up, as easy as that. And we work our way out the side door. As you can see, you got a good walking space here. Tons of glass, which make that interior area feel like you're almost outside. And then we're gonna show you this cockpit area, which in this one in particular, has that rear cabin space, which gives you a really nice sunbed back here. Nice open space, you have a live well on that side, some rod holders if you did want to take it uh, to the reef or to catch some fish, some mahi or something, you could really do it. Some storage back over here. And you can see this deck actually has an elevated area here and that's meant for this spot right here where you can see it's an open transom. So if any water does come in, which we actually cranked it in reverse yesterday pretty hard, So I'm going actually into the wake in reverse pretty hard. We had a couple waves go into that open transom, but they have those scuppers, not really a scuppers, completely open back there. So that little bit of water that comes in, comes out immediately. It's basically meant, so if you use this as a tender, tow it behind the yacht. If you do take anything over the bow, it escapes within seconds. Not to mention that it's extremely comfortable when diving or spear fishing on this boat. So, all well thought out. They have a purpose and reason for everything. This is an option that you can remove. You can have this open with a summer kitchen that does have a refrigerator out there. I believe you can get a grill, a bunch of different options which open this space up a little bit more if you were to want that. And this boat in particular is set up with twin 300 V8s from Mercury. For a 37 foot or 10 foot beam, the design was done so well that this boat does mid 50s with everything you see on it. You would think a 37 with twins may be underpowered, but not on this boat. You're doing mid 50s. We're cruising at 40, 42 all day long. Very economical fuel wise, it has 200 gallons of fuel. We've been going all week and we still have 106 gallons I'm looking at right now. They definitely have done their homework. They do things right. It wasn't something just put together without thought. Out of the companies we've come across, they are probably up there on the top end of that when you see the amount of research and development that goes into their products. So the last section I wanted to show you was the aft section of the pilot house. You have this dining room table that opens up like this. So you can sit four to six people here comfortably. And then last but not least, pull this piece up and you unveil the aft cabin. Clip that piece right there, drop down, and you have another full size berth for two to three people to sleep. So. If that's the type of boating you wanna do, this axle par with the aft cabin is the way to go. This is an option. So if you wanted to remove this piece and give yourself more open cockpit area, you can do that, but there's a ton of flexibility with the axle pars. And this one is pretty awesome. You got some air vents here, so it'll be nice and cool and comfortable. Or if you wanna drop you know, one of your kids down there to take a nap, that's a great place to do it. You can leave it open or drop it down and it disappears. Hey guys, this is George Maduro with CCO Waterfront. We're about to tour 247 East River Alto Drive. Through the Forum, we're gonna start from the dock to the front of the house. 
Alan, first of all, let's just talk about the ride over on the 37-foot axle par. This boat, honestly, is incredibly impressive for exactly what we do here at CCO Waterfront. Bounce around the islands, enjoy it with friends and family, and we're basically using this as an office right now, so we have our laptop set up in there, all our film equipment, and it's been the perfect chariot to bounce around these properties like this one, and that's, that's what I enjoy the boat aspect of it, and this whole scenario that we're gonna look at first. So George, go ahead and take us through. All right, so we're offshore. I'd say it's two feet with maybe a three footer scattered here and there. We're doing 38 miles per hour. Now this boat has a lot going on. Obviously full pilot house and everything. So you hear you know, some of that when you're running in this rougher stuff. But overall, we're running extremely nice, super solid, actually doing better than what I was expecting in these conditions right here, which normally you're not even doing on an axle part. So before we take off for these market reports, I wanted to talk a little bit about the 37-foot Axo Par cross cabin that we have with us taking our tour today. It's normally Alan's job and he's all over it, but it almost feels like a house. And for a guy like me that is into more of the is into more of the pleasure cruising, this boat is absolutely phenomenal and it's the one that I envision myself in for sure. One of the cool features is access to the cabin at the bow. You have these gold wing doors on the both sides. And just the overall decor and aesthetic in there is just really quality, almost feels residential. So it's really nice to have that feature. Absolutely phenomenal boat. So after you're done with that day on the sun to be able to come into the pilot house and have that AC option is absolutely special to me. So we'll see you guys out on the water. So that concludes our full week review on the Axle Par 37 Cross Cabin. We were absolutely impressed with every aspect of this boat and the way that you can configure it depending on what kind of boating you, your family, your friends want to be doing. This one having the forward space cabin, the gold wing doors, the full pilot house with air conditioning and the aft cabin, incredibly comfortable and it gives you the amenities of a much larger yacht in a 37 foot package. So reach out to Axle Par and Nautical Ventures if you're interested in more information and pricing on this 37 or one of their other models. <laughs>